Ah, it's glistening on a very, very cold, frosty morning. We're at Trenton, by the A34. Uh, we're just having a look at this mausoleum. I've been past it a million one times, and it's it's absolutely beautiful. But look at all the poppies they put on for Remembrance Day. Absolutely lovely. All their men are wearing it lost their lives. Absolutely lovely that is. Uh, it was built by the Duke of, for the Duke of Sutherland. It took 12 months to build. Uh, it was started in 1807 and uh, finished in 1808. Uh, I always thought inside it was like little chambers, but there has been open days. But I've never met them. Every time there's open day, I'm doing something else. It's just like one big, uh, one big room. You want to spend some money on it and open it to the public all the time. But uh, I say it was uh, built for the Duke of Sutherland in 1808. It's uh, Egyptian sort of style of building. And then a graveyard here. Apparently there's no bodies in. The, someone in the Duke of Sutherland's family was buried in there. But I think it was taken out in the early 1900s. Well, it's a beautiful building. A creepy graveyard. An old one. So the heads of stones are being knocked over. They'll take over. They're dangerous, aren't they? So they have to... They have to... Uh, I haven't cemented them, but I suppose they're that old now. But uh, there's no, no relatives about. Uh, it's early in the morning. Oh, this is... I think last time I heard this was all boarded up here, so... We've done some work on it. But what a fast... And I find it hard to believe, but it's the only Grade 1 listed building in Stoke-on-Trent. I'd say, I mean, this full green all did a video with that about 12 months ago. But it's what it says on the information about it. I'd say it's uh, like an honor film, isn't it? It was a great. I've only been around it once before. But they do, like I said, they do have open days. But uh, apparently they didn't want to raise £10,000, I think. To do some work and it's just as like I say I've, I've watched it on YouTube so on has been there and it's just uh, an empty shell so uh, I say it's across there as the old entrance to the Trenton Gardens we used to queue up there when I was a kid queue in to go to the baths I say it's a lovely cool day it was the a lovely wool on Narrabout Poppy last night. And Poppy's absolutely lovely. There's a harvester across there. They due to shut, they are again on Thursday. So uh, I, I will, next time there's open day, I will make an effort and try and come down. So all of you have a great, great day. Keep subscribing and hope you all stay well and safe. And my son Jonathan is back at work now, all his family has got over it, thank goodness. So uh, all, well, I'll say all hope you well, stay safe. Bye, bye, see you soon.